The Boy Who Could Find Anything by Joan Lowry Nixon, pictures by Sid Hoff. David swung back and forth on the lowest branch of Mr. Franklin's tree. Mr. Franklin rubbed his bald head. I wonder where my straw hat went, he said. David swung high and the branch broke. Down fell David and the branch. Something fell in his lap. Is this your hat, Mr. Franklin? David asked. Yes, Mr. Franklin said. It must have got caught in the tree. What a smart boy you are for finding things, David. Linda came by on her bike. Did you say David is smart about finding things? She asked Mr. Franklin. Yes, he is, Mr. Franklin said. He found my hat. Come home with me, Linda said to David. Help me find my cat. David walked to Linda's house next door to Mr. Franklin's house. He tripped over the small fence by the front porch and fell on his face. From where he lay on the grass, he could see under the porch. Linda, he said, picking himself up, if you look under your porch, you'll find your cat and you'll find something extra. Your cat had kittens. Linda got down on the ground. She looked under the porch. Then she jumped up. Mr. Franklin was right, she said. You are so smart you can find anything. Mrs. Sanchez leaned out of her kitchen window. Did you say David could find anything? She called. Could he find my can of pepper? David walked across Linda's lawn to Mrs. Sanchez's house and into her kitchen. Mrs. Sanchez was looking in one of the cupboards. I don't know what happened to my big can of pepper, she said to David. Please help me find it. David saw a bowl of pudding on the table. It was warm and spicy with cinnamon smells. He put a finger into the pudding and tasted it while Mrs. Sanchez wasn't looking. David made a face. He stuck out his tongue and tried to cool it. Finally, he took a deep breath and said, Mrs. Sanchez, I think I know where your can of pepper is. I think that your can of pepper fell into the pudding bowl when you weren't looking. Mrs. Sanchez took a spoon with a long handle and pulled out the can of pepper. Linda was right, David, she said. You are so smart you can find anything. She dialed the telephone. Mr. Adams, she yelled into the phone. I am sending David over to your house. He can find anything. He'll help you find your false teeth. David walked across the lawn to Mr. Adams' house next door. Old Mr. Adams had a hard time telling David he couldn't find his false teeth. David sat in a chair to think about where the teeth might be. He jumped up, shouting, Ouch! Mr. Adams' false teeth were in the chair. David! Mr. Adams said as soon as he put in his teeth. Mrs. Sanchez was right. You're so smart you can find anything. Who can find anything? Tommy asked from the doorway. I can. David said. Then will you come with me to my house? Tommy asked. My mother told me to take care of my little brother, only he's hiding from me and I can't find him anywhere. As soon as they were in Tommy's house next door, David said, Where have you looked for your little brother? Everywhere, Tommy said, inside and outside. I'll sit here and think very hard about where he could be, David said. He flopped on the sofa and bent and creaked. 
David heard a strange sound under the sofa. He stood up and said to Tommy, If you look under the sofa, that's where you'll find him hiding. Tommy crawled under the sofa and pulled out his little brother. Mr. Adams was right, David, he said. You're so smart you can find anything. The door flew open and Tommy's father, Mr. Greenlee, rushed into the room waving his briefcase. Did I hear you say David is so smart he can find anything? He asked. Maybe he can find my speech. It's not in my briefcase. He waved his briefcase so wildly that David stepped back into the bookcase. The bookcase wobbled and shook and a book fell off the top. David tried to catch it, but instead he caught a handful of papers. My speech, Mr. Greenlee said. I left it in the dictionary. David, Tommy was right. You're so smart you can find anything. David walked out the front porch. He watched Mr. Greenlee run to his car, still waving his briefcase. David hurried home and into the living room. Mom, he shouted. I've got something to tell you. Before you do, his mother said, I want you to pick up your shoes. What shoes? David asked. The ones right in front of your nose, his mother said. The ones you thought you had lost. She held out a paper. Here's the homework you couldn't find this morning. It was on the table. And here's the football you were looking for just where you left it on the dining room chair. Now, his mother asked, what was it you wanted to tell me? David said happily, I just wanted to tell you that everyone on our block says I'm so smart I can find anything. David's mother laughed and laughed. David wondered why.